What's up everyone, it's Baron. So today we're going to be going over the Vulcan and should you buy it or not? Now I know it's a small ship, but before we get into it, I want to thank all our patrons, channel members, uh, who's Faithless, who's Praetorian, um, A12345, uh, The Real Donald Dump and Reynold Rosenthal. Now, if you want to become a channel member or patron, go check out... Um, the links in the description if you want to be on that list of creditors go get a membership if you want to support the channel do that as well uh, before we get into it as well uh, if anyone has access to legatus 2951 hit me up i just want a recording so i can go through the list i did have some people lined up there but i'm not too sure what's going on there so i just want to keep all my options open right so pretty much we're going to be going into uh, the Vulcan, why you should buy it, why you shouldn't buy it, and if it's a good choice for you or not. Now, as we know, this is a small, like, it's a multi-roll ship, quote-unquote, multi-roll, but it is primarily refuel, re and repair. As you can see, it's got these little red drones here that are essentially repair, and I think they do refueling, rearming. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that, um, but I have got a little bit of learning about some of these little ships. So, as you can see, medium radar, medium computers, medium uh, system, components you've got two medium fuel intakes two three medium fuel tanks um, medium quantum drive medium jump module two quantum fuel tanks here you have two main thrusters you have two another two main thrusters so they're fixed fixed retro thrusters and then fixed main thrusters and then you have eight gibbled maneuvering thrusters you also have four well let's have a look here we got you got four mounts two two Four size two mounts. Okay, and then you also, well, that's for the, that is for the pilot. Then you have, um, what is that, two per mount. So you got two mounts, you got two per mount, and then you got four utility items. So you got four drones in total with this. Now, I know that a lot of this has changed, and everything's subject to change since it is in concept, and that is the whole point of this. So. Uh, 38 and a half meters long, 16 and a half meters uh, beam, 10 meters high, medium size, 625,000 kilos mass, 12 cargo capacity, 210 SEM speed, one minimum crew, three maximum crew. So as we can see here, it sort of looks like an Argo mole. It's kind of cool looking, but then again, like I said, it looks like an Argo mole. Uh, so you got a turret on the top here with two weapons on it, obviously. So obviously it's going to have turrets. All around it, you can have a f that turret just there as well. You have the main weapons for the pilot, as it looks like it did say. Um, so that could be this little one here. That could be a turret. It looks like a gun, maybe. It's hard to tell, but it looks like it's going to be a fairly decent ship. I know it is a small ship. I know it's going to be fairly um, easy to run. It's going to be fairly easy to acquire in game. So having a look at the ship, obviously it's going to cost you two hundred dollars. If it's on war bond, it's one hundred eighty-five. So whether or not get war bond or not, it's still going to be two hundred dollars. Um, you can get it for uh, with one hundred and twenty months insurance. Whether or not you can get it with LTI, you can, because there are some packs that you can get it in. So what I mean is by packs, if you are a uh, well part of the chairman's club, you obviously have access to these packs here. You get the Prospector in, the Entrepreneur, back the Vulcan, the Vulture, the Hull B, the Ursa Rover and whatnot. And you get lifetime insurance, which is great. You get it, also get it in the Tycoon pack and the Convoy pack. So obviously it's a small ship, but it's also going to be a profitable one to have. So you can either have this and then you can have the Crucible or you can have the Crucible and maybe not get this. It's all completely up to what the person wants to do. Me personally, I wouldn't mind having one of these in my fleet. I am going to have a Crucible, but it would be fairly profitable to have one of these obviously people are going to need one of these flying around if they don't have one maybe you can contract out with it as you all know contracting is pretty much one of my biggest things right now because it's just going to be one of those things that people are going to need eventually and may not have it so just you have to just keep that in your mind that someone may need it and people want what you have so you obviously got to charge a premium for it it's got a um, looks like a maybe a a refueling arm and not a hundred percent sure you got your fuel tanks in the back there like i said how this thing is going to work uh i'm not entirely a hundred percent sure but i'm going to say that those little drones that you have will actually repair maybe even rearm possibly refuel but they look like they're pr like primarily 
repairing as you can see in the picture up here so it they got a little like arm on them but to actually get a proper view at them it's going to be pretty hard but it does look like it can land inside the javelin as well um this part here i'm not 100 percent sure like i know on the when you're looking at it it doesn't look like it but maybe you can land in the front of the javelin here and sort of have a little spot there i know i'm just making assumptions um, it also looks like you may be able to customize it or have different skins for it later on down the track. Um, and as you can see in the actual cart, like the ship itself, these are where you drain sit. And maybe if you if we have a look at it, uh, we can drag the ship around. It's going to be quite difficult. So with the ship as well, it's going to be difficult. Um, you may be able to drop your drones from the like looks like they come out of the sides here of the ship yeah they come out of the sides one there and one the other way obviously you got four of them so they'll drop down and come out now it says here the Vulcan carries four barred drones that can hold can hold small amounts of fuel or ammo for friendly ships as I mentioned but wasn't too sure or repair them with built-in tools two drains may be effective at the same time controlled at two manned support stations on the Vulcan the other two drains are sorted on the Vulcan unless needed for replacement or alternative tasks so if the other ones get destroyed you can then use the other ones if not they just sit there and look pretty so they're pretty much a backup if anything happens to the other two so just keep that in mind it is a small ship it's not large it is quite small it's probably about the same length as an Argo Mole maybe no it's not the same size as an Argo Mole it's it's a small ship like I said so you got 38 meters there so again uh, it's smaller than a Raylan it's about the same size as a cutty a little bit bigger so just got to keep that in mind that it is a small ship it may be easy to acquire in game it is going to cost you 200 us dollars unless it is on war bond but other than that if you want to get it i would definitely get it it's going to be a very good ship to have um, since it's functionality and game play role is going to be very important in a lot of aspects but then if you have a crucible you might not want to worry about getting this but it's all up to how you want to configure your fleet and run it so keep that in your mind let me know down in the comments what you think of this ship and if you're going to get it or not or if it's worth the money but anyway it's been baron i'll see you in the verse